Theme Forest theme upload tutorial, how to install Theme Forest theme on WordPress. In this video, we're going to be talking about Theme Forest and how you can go ahead and install Theme Forest themes on your WordPress in the easiest and most simplest way possible. Now, downloading these different types of themes for yourself by uploading different zip files is one of the most easiest and simplest things to do. And I'm going to be giving you a demo on how you're going to import them. And I'm going to be giving you a total of two examples on how you can import these different themes for yourself, for your debut content, for these premium themes. So what you're going to do is basically go over ahead to your new tab. And here we're going to search up theme forest. Now, once you come over to theme forest here, we can see WordPress themes and website templates from theme forest. So we're going to come over to the download section. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the WordPress theme section. Now, once you're in the WordPress themes, as you can see, you can get tons and tons of different themes over here. OK, and you can download them in an unlimited format, if you may. OK, and what you can do is you can also sign in with your WordPress section right over here. Now, theme forest is obviously powered by Envato elements. OK, it's powered by Envato markets and what you can do is you can work with the themes accordingly. Now, all of these themes that you can see in front of you are mostly paid themes, okay? And they give you a regular license. So basically to get the demo content for yourself, what you can do is first of all, you're gonna go over to any you know uh, theme you think is good for you. So I'm gonna go over ahead and browse the themes and then we also have the pricings for these themes. So there's different themes for different, you could say regimens, and uh, you could go with the themes you think work well for you. Okay. So once we have gone with the necessary consistent themes, let's say I'm going to go with this, this uh, Fana theme. Okay. Now it's on sale right now and it looks pretty good. So it uh, can be added to card pretty simply. And as you can see, it's compatible with different things like Elementor Pro, Elementor, WooCommerce, w WPML, Bootstrap, and a whole lot more. Now, it's themes like this that you can, you know, add to your cart and you can download a any format you want for them. So, you know, you can download all files and documentations, install a WordPress file only for them, or you can also get a license certificate and purchase code through PDF or text. So you can download it in any format or folder you want. So as we can see, I have downloaded this theme from the theme forest section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. We're going to go over to downloads and here we have this theme. So I'm going to go ahead and extract it. And once it is extracted, what you can do from there on out is you're going to go over to the file. And as you can see, if we come over here, we can see these different things for ourselves. Okay. So these different things are the functionalities of the theme, the different PHP files. You could get text documents, PNG, CSS, JavaScript, and a whole lot more things with the assets, documentations, licensing indexes, and a whole lot more. So let's say if uh, I were to, you know, go ahead and view this for myself, if you want to view it, what you can do is you can just go ahead and check out the styled CSS file. And as you can see, it gives you the main details. And that, that, that also technically means that you can go ahead and edit this for yourself if you want to. So that is also doable. And it also leaves down a screenshot for you, which basically shows this is how your website is supposed to look. Now, as we can see, that looks pretty cool, right? So what you can do is you can import this pretty easily. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over to my WordPress section. And from here, we're going to go into appearances. So appearance section is the section where you can actually add themes for yourself. So my shop, uh, my WordPress right now is on the default theme. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one personally. So I'm going to click on install new theme. And once we click on install new theme, what it gives me over here is this section. So I'm going to go ahead and click on upload theme. And once we click on upload theme, we're going to choose the file we want to upload. So I'm going to go ahead with this file, make sure to upload the compressed file. Okay. Don't go with any other file. And once you do this, you're going to click on install now. 
So once we click on install now, it brings you to the actual update installation. And as you can see, it says we're installing the theme. So once the theme is installed, you're going to go ahead and click on activate. So once we click on activate, look at that. The theme is now activated and it is portrayed in your store. So you can go ahead and use it as you want. But in some cases, your theme could have plugin requirements. OK, so it could ask you to install required plugins. So in that case, what you're going to do, because most theme forest themes will ask you to install plugins. So you can go through to the editor. OK, and you can use that editor to choose all the plugins, apply them to yourself. And once you've done that, we can simply come over to the plugin section. And in the plugin section, you can go to your install plugins to get an idea of how your store, you know, looks now. Now, moving on, what you can also do is you can get the different the different types of demo content install. OK, so if we come over here, you have different things like uh, the file editors and, uh, you know, basic whatnots. But if you download any theme for paid theme, it will give you a proper demo content installer which basically goes ahead and allows you to install demo content directly. So once we go ahead and install content like that, what you can do from there is you can come into viewing your store. So once we open it up, as you can see, this is how your page is, you know, pretty much supposed to look like. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the about section. And over here, it says this is the about for it, etc. So what you can do is you can go ahead and check out its demo preview where it gives you an idea of how the you know store is going to make you look like. So this is how the store is supposed to look like. Right. So in the case that your theme does not look like that, what you can do is you're going to come over to the theme section. And again, as I told you previously, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, get the theme for yourself in a uh, you could say plug in way. So obviously this theme is active right now. So what you can do is you can go over to the editing section of this theme and accordingly it's going to ask you for the different plugins to be installed. OK, and you're also going to give it a little time to set into your website because the more time you give it, the more plugins it's going to recommend you to install. But, you know, generally the normal plugins people do install with these themes are things like Elementor and uh, mainly WooCommerce uh, uh, extras. So basically what I would recommend is going ahead and installing Elementor to your website because Elementor's website builders gives you a few features that apply automatically to the actual uh, theme plugin that you've installed for yourself. So go ahead and use those things with each other. And uh, that should generally fix your theme for you. So, you know, this is the main idea of how you're going to download your theme for us themes easily and how you're going to upload it to your WordPress in the easiest and most simplest way. So, yeah, that's the main idea of how things work. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you in that case as well. But yeah, till then, this is all from me and I will be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.